Welcome back to Dyson Days. I'm Madison Dyson. Here we make videos of our day-to-day -day striving to raise our children up in the Lord and also a little bit of first-time homesteading. This week's video is my nap time cleaning routine with two kids under 15 months. And also we are going to take you guys out to the shop and show you what the furnace is looking like. I'm going to show you another project that Mark has started this week that is going to help the functionality of our house tremendously. And also we are going to go look at a two acre property that is about 10 miles away from the farm. So we will take you along on that journey as well. Theo is down for his nap. He is the 15 month old and is he 15 months? October, November, December, January. Yep. And Evelyn is also down for a nap. She is five weeks today. So let's go ahead and get cleaning. I want to point out that we added this boot tray to the kitchen this week found this at sam's club for about 15 dollars which sounded like a great deal so when you come in from outside now we have a place to put our shoes so that we don't have to track mud everywhere and then i figured out the last homeowners actually left a boot tray now we have one inside and one outside All right, so we're in the shop. Here's the furnace. Mark is going to try to get some of that rust off of there. And this is what it looks like as of now. And we need to go back and get Theo. We have this front porch that would be very useful if we were able to get out of the car and unload groceries and go up steps right here uh, up to the kitchen. That door up there leads to the kitchen. And so we want to, we, we were kind of going back and forth on what we wanted to do for steps up here. And our long-term goal, uh, our big dream is to be able to eventually put a wraparound porch on the house. So for a temporary fix, we are working to add stairs right here on the side of this porch so we can have plenty of room to get up in the porch, walk through the door and take off shoes before we walk in. Because another negative or downside to the porch being in the back here is right when you walk in the back door, you're kind of in a hallway in a weird spot where it's hard for multiple people to walk in to get out of the cold and take off their shoes all at the same time. and so being able to put this step, these steps here will be extremely beneficial to getting up. It's kind of a mud area, take off your shoes and get in. Halfway through this process, I've kind of, I've worked to remove the lattice up here and add, uh, just kind of adjust the existing support over. That way we can put a fence. We'll have a gate here that will allow us to keep the kids up in the porch area without them going down the steps, allowing them to go down the steps. And that'll be a swinging gate on this column here. 
but as I was taking apart the lattice and they had the previous owners had lattice and hardy plank or hardy board concrete board around the porch and once I removed the hardy I noticed how number one how high these bricks are stacked and just how bad they're leaning and the long-term effects of something like that happening where the bricks are sinking into the dirt and the column the whole corner of the house shift shifting down would basically if this or sorry basically if this if this column were to drop too low it would start ripping the siding off the side of the house where it connects up at the top there i'm going to work i'm going to jack up i'm going to temporarily temporarily support the porch with a putting the the jack on the brick for a found for support foundation jack this up take the weight off of these bricks and then repurpose one of the four by fours here that i took off of this uh support system for the lattice and tie into this uh two by six and go down re relay out the brick all right so i got the porch temporary supported uh number one issue with how these bricks are sitting and why they sunk is because of the brick sitting up on on its edge rather than sitting and having the full support of all this side of the brick on as the foot you only have the edges of the brick in the dirt therefore acting more as a cleat in getting grip and not necessarily supporting the weight of the structure and so i'm going to turn take this guy out resurface the area put it back in on on the op not on edge on its back and then support up to the porch all right so now we've re-leveled and squared everything and uh, we have one brick on the bottom that i resurfaced re-leveled and it's actually tilting a, just a slight amount to this back or actually be the north northeast corner of the brick um, because I know there's more weight back here and it's going to uh, just put more tension on this back corner or more pressure on this back corner and so just tilted just a slight amount probably one to two degrees to the front and uh, yeah it's just going to get a lot better support now a lot more direct support to the ground instead of tilting um, uh, I was going to I probably should have went with one of these um, shorter bricks but this will do for now um, my goal my plan is to come back later and redo the front of this uh, crawl space underneath the porch and at that point I'll probably pour concrete underneath this uh, brick instead of just having dirt underneath there um, but who knows maybe maybe it does well I can check if check it later to see if it's level I'll make I'll give myself easy access to kind of come over come under here and do maintenance it wasn't too bad removing the lattice and the hardy um, so now the next step is attaching this uh, I have the supplies in the garage to uh, put a four foot wide set of stairs that come down so I have to regrade I'm going to bury I'm going to support the rather than pouring concrete again going for I had all these bricks laying around the property so rather than going and buying concrete I know it's not that expensive for a pa pa package of sackcrete but I have this here save money and so I'll put these bricks underneath here and uh, support this the, that'll be the foundation for the stairs coming down I'll also have to add some some legs coming down to, for some uh, better support to the to the stairs um, but uh, I may I may just leave it a two by six and add a little kicker uh, uh, to the side so if I have my if I have my steps coming down here let me so if I have the stairs coming down the stringer the support for the stringers coming down the stair stringer coming down right here right next to it so imagine the stringer is still here right next to it I'll have a kicker or support piece here 
to screw from this side where my thumb's at through the stringer into this board. And this board will be screwed directly to this uh, two by six stringer. So I'll screw into this from this side where my thumb's at, and then from the back side underneath the porch, I'll screw into the stringer coming through. And it's hard to do without a tripod, but hopefully you get kind of the idea. So there'll be a stringer for the stairs on this side of the porch and one on that side. And so I'll have two, one here and one here to screw through from both sides. And then I'll screw from the back underneath. So that's the plan. All right, so we have the stairs, the steps, to our front porch or side porch by the kitchen uh, about halfway done uh, I had to get to a stopping point the other night uh, but we I got some bricks in the ground to support the stair stringers and uh, I need to go get the two by sixes we're gonna put two by sixes uh, going down these are gonna the steps are gonna shift out an inch and a half for the two by sixes to sit behind there uh, that way you can't see through underneath the porch and then we'll uh i need to do some re-leveling i need to drop i need to draw this one a little bit and bring the other side up uh, it was i was working in the dark so it was kind of hard to uh, really get everything and using a two foot level it's a little bit difficult but uh yeah the main things that need to be done are two by sixes back here shift these out screw those down uh, I'll probably, before I do that, re-level the bricks and stringers. It is a little difficult because the house is uh, old and everything's shifted, and so we're unlevel side to side, and uh, the porch is unlevel a little bit. So there were, if we wanted to make it longer lasting, I guess we would have to re-level everything. But I'm not going to do all that right now. So uh, after that, after we get everything level and square and plumb and the back's tied in here we'll take the existing lattice we'll put lattice down the side here we'll put posts going up and lattice over here on the side and we'll probably paint them gray i think gray to the steps gray to match the top up there and all of the accents handrail and stuff will be painted white to match the rest of the porch so that's kind of where it's at right now. So we made it to the two acre property and I will tell you it is not what I expected at all. The truck almost didn't make it up the hill and we're in like a valley kind of. There is one small spot kind of leveled out and then that's down the hill. Still down the hill. And that's where we came from, down the hill. And then up the hill. It's pretty much a big mountain. Mark is exploring the woods. We're gonna take Theo up there. You wanna go up there? You can see. It's so cool. It's so cool up there. Like you can see over everything that you can't see right now. You'd have to do some work to flatten it out and stuff if you wanted to be up there. Are you sure the property goes that far? No, we're gonna take this one. Forever There's another house. Also on a hill. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and also subscribe to our channel. That way next week when we post our weekly vlog, you will get a notification um, and you will be one of the first to know that we posted. So thanks again for being here and we'll see you next week on Dyson Days.